Etheria, High Levy Wonders. Um, this is a video showing off the functional prototype for the self-balancing levy wand. This one is made out of carbon fiber and then with the weights on the ends. Um, for those who don't realize, I'm going to show you kind of a, how a normal levy wand behaves. Uh, we're going to show with this pink end right here going down a normal levy wand. Uh, worst thing is when people accidentally flip the levy wand over and try to play with it. Uh, the heavy end now like tries to just fall toward the ground. Um, so if you look at a balanced levy wand, you'll notice it tries to hang somewhere around the 1 o'clock or the 11 o'clock position, depending how you look at it. And then when you release it from horizontal, it should take roughly one second to come to the top. Uh, if it doesn't have those characteristics, for example, if there's extra weight on top, uh, you'll notice that all of a sudden this won't want to stay vertical. It'll want to if you have too much weight and completely flip over. Um, as well as if you have too much weight on the bottom, um, you'll notice this lags and goes side to side a lot more because now it's like a pendulum where there's weight there and the weight does this back and forth rather than staying completely vertical ugh, like a, a normal lovey one should. So now what I'm going to show you is the, uh, the prototype for the self-balancing lovey wand. So the first thing I want to show you is the fact that, so this is balanced with the pink side down somewhere around uh, 1 o'clock. If I release it from this position, it'll take about a second to get up there. So I can play with it with the uh, pink side down, and you'll see it stays virtually perfectly vertical. However, unlike a normal levy wand, if I flip this thing completely upside down, uh, and I have the pink and purple side up, noticed it still balances at the 1 o'clock position, and it still plays like normal. So a real cool thing about this particular levy wand is the fact that even though you can play with it, um, and it stays fairly level without it, if I attach a weight on the top, this should still remain fairly close. Oops, let it fall too much there, it's kind of returning to that one o'clock position, and you should still be able to play with it with um, the weight actually now up a little bit high, or we have applied weight up to it, so even if the center gets shifted or it bends or something. As well as, um, if I take this weight, remember the pink is on top here, uh, and attach this weight to the bottom now, this normally would screw it up a lot, but notice it still hangs pretty close to that one o'clock point, which means you can play with it completely as normal. Now, if I flip the whole thing over, now remember there is weight up top here, so this should um, balance itself, once again it's a little bit off, uh, balance itself now with the pink side down, there we go, comes back up, um, and then plays fairly well with the pink side down. And also, if we take weight and we toss it with the pink side down, even with that extra weight down there, yep, um, it plays completely normal. So a blade completely normal, whether there's weight on the pink side, um, and the pink side is up, or if there's no weight on it and the pink side is up, or if there's no weight on it and the pink side is down. Notice, this levy wand will play whether there's extra weight on it or not, uh, depending on and whether or not the, the whatever side is up. It'll still play exactly the same this way. Um, I can give it a couple spins. I don't care whether or not it's pink or white up. Wherever it ends up, I'll play with the pink side up. Just give it a couple spins. I don't care where it ends up. I will still play with it with the pink side down and it behaves just like a normal levy wand, in any case. Awesome! Uh, hope you guys... I don't know.